Hey, Ronnie Dahl, four-wheeling in westernaustralia.com. Off-road wheels, steel versus alloy. Which is better off-road? It's not that simple. And this is a question I get asked so often. So often. I've been looking forward to doing this video. And yes, there will be rims harmed in this video, so I look forward to letting out some steam. Might do some slow motion impacts. Stay tuned and find out which is better. Before we get all destructive and start beating these rims up, I'm going to cover some pros and cons so you can decide which is better, steel or aluminium. And there are some surprising factors that you may not be aware of and maybe some things you haven't thought of. So we'll cover those and then we're going to get all fun and games on these rims. Steel versus alloy, which is stronger? The steel rim, a lot of people believe, is the stronger one. But that, that's not the case. The aluminium rim is actually stronger. It takes more impact to do damage to an aluminium rim than it does to a steel rim. But there is a bit of a flip side to this. If you hit a rock or a stump and it's not too hard, you will bend the lip on a steel rim should you contact it. Aluminium, you can probably get away with that. It won't be too much damage. You might have a little nick or something. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna survive. That said, however, if you hit something really hard, yes, you'll put a big dent in this thing, but this thing here, the aluminium rim, will completely crack. It will crack on you. It doesn't like to bend. You can't deform a aluminium rim the way you can deform a steel rim. Now, steel rim, once you bend it, you can actually knock it back into place with a good hammer and a little bit of skill and a little bit of trying. It'll take you a little while, depending on the size of the dent, but you can make it work again. We've done this countless times, honestly countless times with our steel rims. To crack a steel rim, you have to hit it incredibly hard to crack the middle of it. Incredibly hard, to the point where if you do crack a steel rim, you'll probably completely damage something on your vehicle anyway. So in terms of strength, it depends how hard you hit something. The steel rim is on top on hard impacts. The aluminium rim is on top with your medium to low impacts. Availability. Should you completely destroy your rim and you need a new one or you've damaged it and you need a new one, a steel rim you can get anywhere in the country, anywhere in any country. They will be available. Aluminium rim, maybe, but not, I guarantee you it will not be the same one that you have on your vehicle. Guarantee it. Size availability. A steel rim, you can get these from 14 inch all the way up to 18 inch. You can't go beyond 18 inch rims. You don't really want anything bigger than that anyway for off-roading. An aluminium rim, you can get from 16 inch all the way up to 22, 24. You're not gonna want a 22 or a 20 inch or anything like that off-road. Uh, trust me, you'll destroy your rim, you'll destroy your tire. It's not for off-roading. Price-wise. Cheap version, more pricey version. $300 and upwards, 75 bucks and up to 150 bucks. That's it. It's a lot cheaper to replace, especially if you're off-roading and you like to do the rough stuff. You like to damage a few rims. I've done that. I've replaced probably about three of them on this vehicle alone. Aluminium rims, I would not like to replace those. They'll be very expensive. <laughs> A thief is more likely to flog an aluminium rim than they are to flog a steel rim. Corrosion. A steel rim will suffer from corrosion more than an aluminium rim. Look, an aluminium rim or a mag wheel will suffer from corrosion as well once the protective coating has been, you know, grazed off, which will happen off-road. At that point, they can start to corrode, but it's mainly a problem with the steel rims. And look, if your steel rim does corrode, why brush? You can get it off, respray it. Heat transfer. Steel rims, or steel in general, retains a lot of heat. When it gets hot, it heats up and it holds onto that heat. Aluminium rim, 
really well conductive of heat. It'll just disperse the heat real easy compared to a steel rim, which is better for your brakes and better for braking itself as well. There's no doubt about it, aluminium is lighter than steel. No doubt about it, no question. But it's not that much difference. It, it, there is a difference, but not that much. But look, it will add up after four tires or four wheels, five wheels, because you carry a spare as well. Some people carry six. So arguably, you could say that you get faster acceleration, you get better fuel economy, and you get better steering with an aluminium. But honestly, I don't think you will notice the difference. Honestly, I don't think you will. Now to looks and appearances. Obviously, the aluminium wheels, you can get some real stunning looking wheels. They're always gonna look better than the old steel rim. But look, you can still make a tough full drive. Well, a full drive to look really tough with a steel rim. But in all honesty, you can't beat the look of an aluminium rim. The only problem is though, if you go off road, are you going to want to scuff this expensive aluminium good looking rim or are you just going to hit the tracks with your steel rim and not be too fast, get a couple of scratches, get a bit of dirt on it? That's a choice you have to make there. There's no question about it. Your vehicle will look a lot tougher and a lot cooler with some more crawling aluminium rims on there. That's most of the pros and cons. I'm now going to smash these two rims with this hammer. We'll do a bit of slow motion and stuff as well. And then afterwards, I'll explain to you why I have chosen steel rims on my vehicle and what situation I would actually choose aluminium in. Because, you know, there are uses for both of them. I hope I don't blow away in this wind out here. All right, let's smash some rims. Okay, so that was one hit right in the center and it's got a nice crack in it. Now obviously I'll try and hit it on the edge next time, but I'll try to steal one now and we'll see what happens there. Hasn't done much damage at all actually. Just bent it in a bit. All right, time to hit the actual outside of the rim now on both of them. All right, so that was three hits to the same point. We've got a crack here and a crack here. Rather large crack there, actually. This thing's done for. I'm trying to steal now. My hands are hurting, though. This is hard metal. So it took three belts to crack it. I am just a bloke swinging a sledgehammer. So consider you're in your vehicle, you've got a flat tire, you're cruising along, all of a sudden you hit a big rock. This is actually quite likely to happen. This is three belts with this hammer right here. So I have seen dents like this in steel rims before and I have helped reshape rims like this before. I can, I can reshape this. It's gonna take a long time, but I can reshape it and, and get myself home. This one here, however, done for. That's it. All right, so here's the thing. I think I've belted them enough now to, to prove this point. I'm actually surprised how easily the alloy rims split in the middle. So if you get a fair hit right in the middle, which is quite unlikely when you, you know, because your, your tire's kind of protecting, you're more likely to hit the edges. But still, if you have a flat tire and you hit a rock, bang, look at that, one hit with a sledgehammer. Imagine all the weight of your vehicle and the front wheel, bang, into a rock. That will split these rims. Steel rim, I had two goes at it, right here. You can still drive it. You probably wouldn't even notice the difference. 
on the inside. Now when it comes to the, the edges of the rim, that's where the, um, the alloy is a bit stronger than the steel. Not that much stronger, but a bit stronger. But as you've already seen, with a hard enough knock, it will crack. Where is it? Right here. There's a crack there, there's a crack here. Both of those cracks will render this rim useless. This rim here, I've actually belted this more than this one. You can still get home on this. That's cracked as well. That wasn't even that hard to hit from the side. I'm definitely not the world's strongest man. They're pretty weak in the middle. I'm surprised. I really am. Well, there's no doubt about it. They are both very sorry looking rims. Now, look, I don't really even have to explain why, why I have steel rims. Just from the torture test you just saw there, just from that light hit from the side, it's amazing. They are quite weak in the middle. I have repaired many rims, even some to this extent here, with that massive dent here. This was three hits with the sledgehammer to get that. And that's one hit with a rock when you're driving. I'm even driving on rims now that have been re repaired. So, so if you are remote traveling, steel rims are the way to go. Look, for that, you know, to shed that extra bit of weight just to change your tire, like a lot of people are arguing about, oh, my back's way better with an aluminum rim. Come on, mate. It's not that much heavier. The steel rim is not that much heavier. It's your tire that's heavy. Steel rims all the way, remote travel. Look, aluminum rings do have their place. If you, if you don't go out that far, you don't go too far away, you like to have your vehicle looking really nice, aluminum ring for sure. Why not? They're fine. Just don't go proper off-roading with an aluminum ring. Rim, sorry, not ring, rim. Well, I hope you found this video interesting and who wins in your mind? Steel or aluminum? You know what I think. For another versus video, mud terrain versus all terrain, just down there. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe here. And if you'd like to support the creation of content like this, patreon.com slash Ronnie Dale. Who knows, maybe next time I look at aluminium and steel, I could do a bull bar. I just need some donor bull bars and we can do something with that. See ya.